Praise the Lord, saints. Today's scripture affirmation is coming from the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28. And in this verse of scripture, we are reminded that God works all things together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Now, this verse does a few things for us. If we meditate on it, get some understanding and confess it and work it into our lives, we are reminded that no matter what we face, what we go through, whatever challenges, unfamiliar situations, whatever relationships we've been through, whatever mistakes we've made, whatever has been done to us, whatever we've done to others, whatever we have been through, gone through, whatever we're going through, God takes all of these things, right? And he works them together for our good. What if we love him and are called according to his purpose? This means that if I'm walking with God, if I'm seeking him and everything, if I am, uh, you know, walking after the spirit, if I am following after uh, the things that he has purposed for me and I'm seeking him and everything, I'm calling on him continuously. I'm listening for his voice and obeying his commands and turning away from wickedness and turning away from evil and repenting and confessing and surrendering. If I'm walking in the will of God, if I am seeking to be all that he purposed me to be, then God's word tells me that no matter past, present, future, God takes every situation, every circumstance, good, bad, or ugly, and he works it together for my good. This is encouraging because there's some things that we don't understand, some situations, maybe some things that we've done or things that have been done in our life that we have gone through struggles and battles and we don't know why or things that we've done and we feel uh, bad about it. And even though we've confessed it, we are still reminded of it or Whatever the case may be, whatever it is that we think we failed at, whatever things, wherever areas we think we stumbled in, God is able to take all of these things, all of these situations, all of these associations, everything from when we were younger to right now to in the future and work it together for our good. Make it turn into something that is going to glorify him, something that's going to strengthen us, make us bolder or more committed, make us uh, more than conquerors, gives us a testimony that will cause us to be able to stand on the word of God. Remember what God has brought us through, brought us over, what he's done in us, through us, and for us. This works together for our good, even our testimonies that may bring some family members to Christ. It may be some situations or circumstances that we've been through and we didn't know why we had to go through it, but then it ended up being our ministry. Maybe it was something that we went through and we failed at it, but it was just something to make us stronger so that when we get to the next thing that we will continue to be firm and steadfast. Maybe it's something that we didn't know how we were going to get through it, but we got through it. And because we got through it, now we know that we are able to get through the next thing. Now we know that wherever we get to, we're not going to fall back, go back because we went through too much to get to where we're at. Whatever the case may be, God is working all things together for the good of those who love him and those that are called according to his purpose. So remember this, whatever you've been discouraged about, whatever you've been through, whatever you've been feeling guilty about, whatever's been done in your past, whatever you're going through, right now, whatever you're facing on your job or in your home or in your ministry, in your walk, in your business, and you know, whatever it is that you're dealing with, whatever it is, if you're seeking God in the midst of it, if you're doing the will of God, if you are praying without ceasing, listening for his voice, obeying his commands, if you're doing as God has instructed you, he is working it together for your good. There will be good that will come out. There will be victory. You will find that there is a purpose for your pain, that there is victory and you're not a victim. You will find out that God is working in you, through you and for you. It's working together for your good. So you confess today that no matter what it is, I don't care if people are reminding you of your past. I don't care if you've been through something, just got out of something going through something right now. I don't care if it's something that you remember from your past, something that you did, mistakes that you made, and you think that you're not going to be able to move forward because you did this, 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 and this. Let me tell you something. Don't be discouraged because God is able to take it and work it together for your good. It'll just be a testimony that will bring glory to his name. What people told you you wouldn't be able to do because of your past, you'll be able to do it. Whatever, you know, you're reminded of that it seems like it's a roadblock for you. You'll find out it's nothing but an open door. So I'm telling you right now, all you have to do is submit to God, walk with God. God, honor God, surrender yourself to him and he will work it all together for your good. Why? Because you love him and you're called according to his purpose. So confess today that God is working it all together for my good. God is working it together for my good. Whatever it is, you don't have to worry about it. Instead say God is working it together for my good. But you have to remember that you have to be in his will. You have to be submitted to him because he said it's for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. So you declare today 
I love the Lord and I'm called according to his purpose. So he's working all this together for my good. I, I I love the Lord and I'm called according to his purpose. And he's working all this together for my good. Let me tell you something. Where you were discouraged, you can be encouraged. You can be like David. He encouraged himself in the Lord. Because everything had been taken from him and his men. had Their wives and their children. And while the other men were weeping and mad, David was pr praying and seeking. And the Bible tells us he encouraged himself in the Lord. And it was because of that that David was able to go back and conquer the enemy and get all of their families back and all of their stuff back. Why? Because he remembered that God works all things together for his good. He was called according to God's purpose and surely he loved God because he was called a man after God's own heart. So remember this, while the others were weeping, that David was encouraging himself in the Lord. Remember what God has already done for you. He's the same God. He's immutable, unchanging and unchangeable. So remind yourself that God is working it together for your good because you love him and you're called according to his purpose. Join us each and every day from 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the prayer line. The information is underneath the YouTube video. And remember to subscribe to this channel so that you can get the daily affirmations Monday through Friday. And you can get any notifications for any Bible studies or any sermons or any other messages that are uploaded. Remember today that you love the Lord, that you're called according to his purpose. So he's working it all together for your good. God bless you.